In this video, I'm going to show you how you can sign up and use beacons.ai. Now, beacons.ai is a link in bio tool which allows people to build landing pages just like this one and then link to different things on that one page. Now, this is often used for Instagram, so you can create a landing page. You can then put this one link in your Instagram profile, and it means your followers can then go ahead and choose where they want to go after clicking on your landing page. Now, I'm going to show you how you can create a very simple landing page in beacons.ai and I'm going to run you through the whole process. So if you hover over their apps, these are all the apps that you can actually use. Mostly though, people use it to add links in their bio. So that's mostly what I'm going to cover in this video. So first we're going to go to sign up in the top right hand corner. Then it's going to welcome you to beacons and then you can go ahead and choose your username. So I'm just going to see if Bradley Harrison is available and it looks like it is. So I'm just going to run with Bradley Harrison and I'll make her link in bio for my Instagram. So we'll click next. We can then enter a name, email address and password and then create our account here. Okay, so now we're being welcomed to Beacons once again and it's just setting up everything here. So once you've signed up, you'll then have to connect your social media account. So go ahead and enter in your username. You can do this for any social medias. I'm just going to connect my Instagram and I'll connect my TikTok as well. Okay, so now we've got those connected. We can now go to next and we can then explain what type of content we create. So I create like how to videos. Um, so I'm just going to put here, we'll just put tech and business. In fact, I'll just keep it on business and then click next. What's your main goal today? Here's where you're gonna then let beacons know what your intention is on the platform. Most of you are gonna wanna click create a link in bio. So now it's going to start building your beacons page and here's where you can go ahead and customize this. Now just let beacons do its thing first and create your page. So it's created my page. I'm not sure why it's put this photo at, on the background, but we're gonna change all of this and customize everything. So select a theme color. Color. I'm gonna select here black or gray. So I'm gonna keep it on black for now. Uh, we're then gonna scroll down and click next. Now it's gonna try and get you to buy a domain through beacons.io so you can put it in the link in your bio. I really wouldn't, wouldn't recommend register in a domain with beacons.ai um, you can go ahead and click not right now to this and it's going to then try and get you to upgrade to a premium plan where again you can say not right now so here we're on beacons.ai now it's going to redirect us to the dashboard and here's where we can customize our landing page so it's going to grab your bio from instagram which you can go ahead and click on and then you can go ahead and write out anything so I'm going to keep this the same. There is an option here to center the text, which I do prefer. So I'm going to select that and then click save. Okay, so now let's go back. So now here is your profile. So if you scroll down here, you've got this email sign up page, which we're not going to cover in this video because it's kind of advanced. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to then click on the trash can icon and click delete. It's also here added one of my TikToks, which I don't mind actually. But again, if I wanted to delete it, I could just click on it and then delete this block. If I go to edit block, we can actually choose and change the TikTok that it's put there, but I'll keep this one for this for this video. So we'll go ahead and save this and then go back. So now let's go ahead and customize this and go from top to bottom. So first we've got header and in the header here, you've got your profile picture, which if you click on, you can then upload a picture from your computer. Right now though, it's just grabbed it from Instagram. You can also change the picture shape. And if you want an outline, you can outline it. You can then also write a bio and you can enter in your location and choose the format that you want this. So maybe I want it like this with all of my social icons next to my profile picture. And you can also increase and decrease the, the picture size, which is a nice feature as well. And then if you keep scrolling down here are gonna be your social icons, which are going to add next to each other. So maybe if I was doing this for real, I would add my Twitter and YouTube as well. So once we're happy with that, we can then go back. Now here's where most of you are going to want to start adding links and that obviously is in the links section. So if you click on links, you can then scroll down and add new links. So let's say I wanted to, well, first what I'm going to do is remove this. So go to link options, hide this. Now let's say I wanted to link to, I don't know, maybe a YouTube channel or maybe I have an email list that I want to send people to. I could then click add new link and here I can add a title. So let's say sign up to my email list. Then I would go ahead and enter in a URL of my email list. I don't have one on hand right now. 
So I'll just send people to Google, www.google.com. But you, you will go ahead and enter in the link here that you want to send people to. And you've got here, sign up to my email list. Now you can animate this, you can schedule these links, and you can also set a countdown timer. And if you go to link options here, you can choose whether you want it to open in a new tab. So maybe I want to open that in a new tab. I can also add an icon. So you can choose here from your own media. You can choose a GIF, social icons, AI, images, and so on. I'm going to choose social icons and because I'm sending people to an email. Um, we'll see if there's an email icon, which there is here. Okay, so there we go. We're now building out our page. If you go to link layout, you can kind of choose which, whichever one you want. You can also make it so it's collapsible as well, but I wouldn't recommend that if you've just got links. I'd just keep your links visible. So a couple more things, and then I'm going to wrap this up. If you go to design, uh, you can change the themes. So you can choose for all of these themes. So maybe I want a tech theme, and maybe I want to run with... Mm, none of these themes are that great, but maybe I want to run with this one and click apply. So there we go. This is the new theme. If I scroll down here, I can also choose the transparency level and the background image. And I can also add a video in the background image as well. Now, there's a lot of customization you can do in beacons and it can all be done very easily. It's all pretty intuitive. Now, here you've got your link to your beacons.ai profile. So if you click on that, it's going to open it in a new tab. And here is your beacons.ai profile, which actually looks really good. And if we click on these links, it should take them, take us to wherever we've linked. So if we click on this, it should redirect us to Google, remember? And it opens in a new tab, and this should take me to my TikTok. And this doesn't open in a new tab because I didn't tell it to. So yeah, it's redirecting me to TikTok here. So that's been beacons.ai. So that's been beacons.ai. You can then go ahead and copy this uh, link, and you can put this into your Instagram bio or wherever you'd like. And then people can click on it and they can then view all of your links. So I hope that video did help you out. Let me know in the comment section below if you've got any questions.